I'm here to do a quick, accurate, realistic demonstration of the Diggs Revol Large dog crate. You'll have to excuse my voice as I've been losing it for one week now and I sound like Batman. But we're going to have to roll with it because I won't have both these out at the same time for a long time. So we're going to have to do this now. Specifically, I'm showing the large because I was on the line on whether I wanted to spend the money on this crate. And what frustrated me is there's a lot of videos on every other size, but not this size. So I was afraid that it was because maybe this didn't operate as simply as the others. Fortunately, I found out that it operates just as simply. So it was a valuable purchase, one I'm pleased with. On the website, there's a lot of negative reviews and it's based around this crate here. A lot of people would say it's just as simple as the Revol to set up and that is absolute bull. Now Diggs didn't do themselves any favors by hiring an actor to uh, attempt to put one of these black ones together um, to say he exaggerated the process is a bit of an understatement. But what I will say is, as far as I'm concerned, these are a pain in the you-know-what to, to set up, especially compared to the Revol. I'm going to set both of them up uh, separately for you so you can get an idea of the ease of difference. But first, you will notice, yes, the size difference, you know, when they're broken down, the Revol is a lot taller, maybe six inches. It's bulkier. Uh, for someone like me with a truck and an SUV, it's not an issue at all. And I would rather have the ease of setup. But if you're somebody that needs every single inch uh, of storage, you know, you may need to go with this thing. You know, I'm getting this because we work 90% of our lives. And the very little amount of vacation we get, every second counts. And every second I can save, especially doing something not so much fun like putting up a dog crate, is worth it to me to spend some extra money. We use this when we go out camping on trailers on the few times. We don't do it often, but if we go out to dinner or go away to get some groceries or something real quick or whatever, fishing, uh, we put the dogs in the kennel, their, their crate train. But the point is, is it's something that, you know, We'll put it up in the trailer, maybe once or twice a day, and then we have to put it back down to stow away because we don't we can't leave it up there. And so we needed something that can go up very quick and easy. This is not that. If you're getting a crate that you just need to put up in your house and leave for long periods of time, well, this is just fine and it's a lot cheaper. Not real sturdy, we'll go over that. But, you know, if you're gonna be putting a crate up and down several times a day, you know, you're going to want something like this for sure. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, do the demonstrations here so you guys can see the difference. And I'm a strong guy, and it's still a hassle, in my opinion, to do the, the first one. The first thing I like to, to bring to attention is with this style crate, when you go to open it up, you have to swing it out beyond the actual fold down width to get it to open up. So if you're in a tight space like in a trailer like we are, and the wall right here, or refrigerator is right here, I'm you know, fighting not to scratch the wall or refrigerator to get this open enough to pop it out. So you gotta swing this out there. Let's hit my coffee table right now to get it to open up like that. They do open it up. I'm gonna start from the other side. You have to get at these tabs. A lot of people won't do the tabs right. If you don't do the tabs right, you're gonna have problems. Because you gotta get the top metal underneath both of these and then this over this. It's only this side, you know, one side is a little bit tougher usually. 
a lot of people won't do this right. If you don't do this right, this wall can come apart. And that happens to a lot of people. They don't set these tabs in right and get all the sides into these side tabs. So you gotta make sure you do both of that. All right, see, you know what? This is a good example. See how much of a pain? I was gonna put it back down and then re-put it together all in one step just to see how fast it is, but you saw how much of a pain it was to try and get that unhinged. It's already driving me nuts to where I'm not gonna do it. So you be the judge. These door latches, this door swinging open on me. I had them closed, but when you collapse this, it goes uneven and those latches don't catch. So I had to close the door just to get this thing to come out. This one went in a little bit easier. Like I said, I'm strong. It's easy for me to bend this metal. It's not gonna be that easy for everybody. Everything's in the latches. So the next thing I wanna talk about, these are very flimsy. The small ones and the medium ones, not as big of a deal, they're sturdier. But this is the larger one we're talking about. See, that thing didn't go into the stupid metal. I actually gotta get it on there. Oh, well, it won't even stay in. Here's my point, again. This thing's very flimsy. So if you watch a lot of videos, what you're gonna notice, people have to do what we have to do. We put zip ties on different parts of this where it's the flimsiest. And on the doors, you have to put carabiners because yeah, these walls will come apart even if they're properly latched. And our dogs are properly crate trained, so in general they do very well and they're calm inside the crate. But if somebody comes walking outside the trailer making a lot of noise, or God forbid even checks the doors or something like that to make sure they're locked, yeah, the dogs are gonna go nuts. And yeah, this, if we don't put those clips or the zip ties on this crate, it very well may collapse, you may get out. But you can easily bend all this metal. And if I wanted to, I could rip this door off without undoing the latches, no problem. So I'll try and do a realistic takedown for you. Lift that part over. Push this down. Like I said, it's always one side. Push it down. But sometimes that one goes back in. Damn. Doesn't feel great on the hands, I'll tell you that. End of the world, no. That. Swing it out. Just trying to hit my confidence. Bam. Was that the end of the world? No. Was it really complicated? Not really. Was it a pain? It was a pain. Like I said, if I only had to do it once over a long period of time, I wouldn't care. Then I'd say it's pretty simple. If I was going to be doing this in a vacation several times in a day, that'd be pretty irritating to me. See the digs. Bingo. That simple. This thing is sturdy. I can squeeze those bars easily. I can't squeeze, there's no give in this metal here. It's solid. And I couldn't tell from the pictures, I was concerned about that. It's heavy, it's the same weight as that black crate. But it's sturdy. Now you can shake it, but I'm telling you right now, my dog can do whatever. He's a big, giant mastiff. He can do whatever he wants. He's not getting out of this thing. This thing's solid. Both of the sides on the top have these clips. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know how well in the frame I am with. Let's scoot it a little more this way. These little things you undo, you can lift. 
little tops up so you can get in from the top if you want. Front door, simple latch. So, I'm, I'm impressed, but you saw how easy it was for me to put that thing up. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now I'm going to put it down. Bingo. It's on rollers. Roll it away.